Welcome back. We have the management of Muthu Finance with us now uh, and sharing with us key uh, highlights of the quarter gone by. Uh, Mr. George Alexander Muthu, the MD, joining us. Um, let's start off with uh, the profit growth looking strong, asset quality held up well. So, so George, what led to the strong performance this time? Previous year, the year gone by was good. Although in the first quarter, because of the COVID last year, we had some issues. But uh, during the second quarter, it started lifting, it started doing better. And second and third quarters, we did absolutely very good. Uh, fourth quarter, yeah, almost uh, or not as good as the second and third quarter. I think these were some of the reasons for the, for the good performance. And also, soon after the lockdown, there was quite good demand for gold loans because people wanted to restart their business, people wanted to restock their goods. So traders, shopkeepers, those people who are our, uh, our uh, large constituents, they used, made, made use of this facility of gold loan so that they could restart the business. In fact, it was a big help also which Muthur could give to these people uh, to restart and maybe upgrade their business soon after the COVID last year. Uh, your peers have been impacted due to a fall in gold prices as well as, um, you know, they've been seeing gold auctions. Have you been seeing gold auctions and how have you been able to mitigate that fall in prices? Uh, see, uh, gold price is a, a factor, is a, is a part of this business. Gold price goes up, international price is there, Indian price is there. Uh, last one year also, last 12 months, it went up from 4,000 to 5,000 rupees per gram. It, it hovered around 4,000, 4,500. So this keeps fluctuating. Actually, gold loan and the customers who keep gold loan, they are not very much concerned with this uh, gold fluctuation in prices. So uh, if somebody has taken a loan and if in between the price fluctuates from maybe from 5,000, it has come down to 4,800, or 4,500, and then again it goes back to 4,700, 800. It doesn't matter. Today, as we speak, the gold price is almost 5,000. So at, uh, maybe one month back, it uh, came down to 4,600, 4,000. So people uh, need not be concerned about this. And Muthut, with this experience in several decades of experience, we have seen that people do not abandon their gold when there's a price fall or a price fluctuation that we have seen and we see that uh, our customers uh, are paying their interest, etc. We persuade them to pay interest. So we have never had, in the last 10 years after listing also, we have never had a, a, a situation where we lost even one rupee because of the gold price fall. So we have never lost money on that. So customers have always been supporting us. The customers, we feel that uh, auctions, as you were talking about auctions, auctions should only be a last result. We generally try to persuade the customers to take back their gold. We give them more time to even uh, take back the gold. And uh, even at the cost of having some of these loans as a technical NPA in our books, we still wouldn't want to auction. Now, if the auctions are there, uh, the last three years, we have always been doing auctions. Uh, previous to previous year, our auctions were 1,000 crores. Last year, it was, uh, year before last, it was 500 crores. In the, in the year gone by, it is just 170 crores. So on 170 crores, on a 52,000 crore portfolio, it's just 0.03%. Mr. Muthut, what has been the impact of the second wave, um, you know, in terms of your overall business? What have been some of the key consumer trends as well that you've observed? Uh, yeah, this COVID, this time, the COVID, the, this is the second wave. First wave caught everybody unawares, and the first full month, the branches were all closed. But this time, I think the uh, states, all particular states, are a little more, uh, what should we say, business friendly. They have not uh, locked down, they have given some options, some openings here and there. So, here now, we are able to open our branches in some places half a day, some places up to four o'clock some places, alternate days. So customers are able to come to our branch. But uh, over this uh, last co uh, Corona wave, uh, what we have, uh, we have learned is that we have been uh, persuading our customers to have go digital. And today, every transaction of Muthut can be done digitally. 
unless other than bringing the gold to the branch and taking it back from the branch, everything else they can do digitally. Mind you, our customers are all very uh, on the lower uh, level customers, but still we are persuading them to use the uh, digital methods to pay their interest, to, to top up their loan, to take up, uh, to pay back the loan section. So we are seeing quite a lot of people you see. And we have been educating our customers uh, the staff has been educating them and maybe uh, persuading them to start using we do we actually help them to uh, to use the mobile phones to use their uh, digital methods and today we have a new system new uh, app which is called click to call so that our staff even when they are not able to come to the office because of lockdown they can contact the customers with a click of a button that's why you call it click to call and, and talk to the customers to tell them what all they can do, what all they cannot do, and uh, how they can do things. So this is, we have learned some things, but of course, uh, so overall, customers would definitely like to come to the branch if there's an opportunity. And we hope that uh, by the end of this month, uh, things should back to normal and branches should be able to do 100% business. And we've seen fairly strong AUM growth. Your AUM sequentially as well has picked up about 5%. What has led to this and what is the outlook over the next couple of years? Do you think you can sustain this run rate? Yeah, last year, as I said earlier, the big growth came because soon after lockdown, there was a lot of demand for uh, quick funding and the gold loan was the correct option and gold prices were also good. People were also keen to do this, uh, to take the gold loan route to uh, get their immediate requirement of money. That helped us last year. And uh, last year, our AUM growth was 26%. Prior to that, it was 22%. And prior to that year, it was 19%. So we have been able to grow our book. But uh, having said that, all these years, we have been always been giving a guidance of just 15%. 15% is the guidance which we have been giving for the last several years. And uh, uh, to answer your question, in the coming years also, we would uh, we would give a guidance of 15% minimum growth. Of course, we have been able to overachieve that, but then that is what we overachieve. But as far as the company is concerned, we would like to give a conservative uh, guidance of 15% on AUM next year and the coming years also. Sure. Um, you know, investor interest has been very strong in gold finance uh, in BFCs and Muthut Finance clearly has been able to uh, command a very high premium valuation versus its peers. What is the opportunity that investors can see in the company and have there been any concerns with regards to investors at all? See, uh, first I would like to tell the concept of a gold loan. The concept of a gold loan is quite useful to the customer. We have been able to actually uh, market the concept well throughout India now. Today, uh, I should say a good part of the uh, education of the concept of gold loan has been has come from Muttuj Finance and our initiatives in the through the media, through, the, through all sorts of publicity that gold loan is good. So we have been able to tell the people that don't keep your gold idle, but only use it. So that is what is, has been. So today, not only Muthuj Finance, not only NBFCs, even sort of private sector banks, public sector banks are all keen to do this. And there is immense potential. There is about 20,000 tons of gold lying around in the country, which are actually, in, to, my, to me, it is an ideal asset. It can actually come to the economy. It can bring in funding. It can bring cash to the people. It can increase their purchasing power. It can increase the investing power. So I see good potential for gold loan, not only for Muthut, for others also. So, but then this is a, this is an operationally very challenging business. Although uh, when I say it looks easy, it's not that easy because it's operationally very challenging. And Muthut, we fortunately we have been able to. I note all most of the issues and whatever issues come up again and again, we have been able to fine tune it, fine tune our processes, etc., so that we can give seamless service. And that is what is people require. And whenever a company where we feel that we can give the seamless service to customers, there is immense potential for gold loan growth.
So Muthut, we see good potential. That is why I said minimum 15% growth we can have in the years to come. And if things are better, economy is doing better, there is no big issue of COVID, etc. We can do better than 15%. But 15% we say is a minimum growth which we think we should be getting. And also, let's talk about growth from some of the other businesses you know, that you're looking at. Growth from uh, other businesses like vehicle financing, affordable homes, uh, you know, the profit contribution from some of these segments. What's the outlook there over the next couple of years? OK, yeah. Uh, Gold Loan has been our core business. And uh, uh, we have today 90% of our AUM in Gold Loan. What we have outside of Gold Loan is just 10%. It was 12% last year, but then uh, the, the just uh, previous year, we have seen not much growth, or we were actually calibrated growth only in the non-Gold Loan business. That is why the proportion of non-Gold Loan business has come down from 12 to 10%. Going forward, I'm sure after all this is over, the other businesses also will and should look up the businesses which we started, that is the vehicle finance and the affordable home, are all businesses which our gold loan customers generally need. They are they are part of these uh, the two wheeler finance or the used car finance or the affordable homes. So we see synergy of the customers of Muthut Finance Gold Loan to these things. That is why we started this. Now in the last two years, the uh, real estate sector, the builders have had problems. The customers have had COVID problems, so be it the, uh, two, uh, the two-wheeler and the vehicle financiers. But I'm sure after the COVID, probably six months, nine months from today, this will also move away. And then we will see more business coming that way. And we, are, we will not, uh, we, we will certainly uh, increase or you more focus to that business also, probably after the next quarter. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, uh, George. Always a, uh, you know, always great speaking with you on the developments at Muthut Finance.